G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for another episode of Wasteland Survival. So, in this week's episode, I'm just going to continue where we left off last week and try and get this hallway done. Um, and ultimately, I would like to, well, I've kind of, yeah, realized that by starting this hallway, I've kind of um, left a few things here that I need to finish. Um, one of those obviously is the train and then I need to get some sort of a conveyor system running from the other end to this side so what I was thinking is actually placing in some air vents here so I reckon for this entire space probably about 12 air vents wouldn't be you know um, too much I could probably even go for more than that because this this space is actually huge so um, yeah I could probably even go for like 24 vents but you know I don't really want the added PCU and to be honest once this room is filled once I don't think it will need to be filled again so yeah I think 12 should be enough so yeah that's another thing that I want to do I want to get the conveyor system done the air vent system done get this hallway finished and then yeah start work on this train um, alright so before we get started on anything else though what I would like to do is lengthen this hallway um, but I would actually like to check this thing out in creative mode just to well not creative but um, in the spectator camera to see how far out this actually goes and how much further I need to go alright so it looks like it goes out for, uh, far enough to clear this kind of hallway that goes underneath the um, yeah into the tracks so I guess at this point it just really depends on how long I really want to make it um, I'd probably want to go at least two or three blocks further just to be comfortable that I've got enough spacing away from kind of the train station um, but yeah so I think I'll just lengthen it to about maybe nine blocks and then I'll see how it looks after that
Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse and that pretty much concludes this airlock. So I'm pretty happy with how everything has turned out. I think it looks really good. Um, I think honestly the only thing I'm not really digging is these pipes here. Um, so I just don't... Hmm. I've got detail on the roof here, um, detail on the floor, these catwalks which, you know, add a bit of detail. Um, yeah, and I just have these kind of flat boring pipes that I really don't know what to do with. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I might replace these with something else. Um, I just realized this one's damaged. Now the thing is, I don't really need to run a conveyor pipe per se. I can just run anything that kind of looks like a pipe. So I was kind of thinking I could do something like this. So let's say we get rid of these blocks and we could even just go ahead and put in some of these. Although I'm not sure if they would be really that more interesting either. Um, they are also, you know, quite flat and boring. Although you do have this kind of piece here. Um, the other option that I was thinking of is let's get rid of these here. So what the other thing I could do is, and I've seen this done in, um, uh, I think it was the Lost Colony Survival... Or the, the one that's built into Space Engineers. Um, they have two of these next to a reactor and they actually look pretty cool. So we could actually go ahead and use something like these spotlights here. So let me just place down like two of these things. Although I think I'll make these light grey. So we'll go for this colour. Alright, so I'll probably... Do I want to place them that way? Or that way starting out. So I'll place one like that. One like that, and then just keep placing them back and forth like that. And yes, these things do use quite a bit of PCU, but I think I should be able to get away with it by just switching them off. So, and then over this side, I think what I'll do is I'll put the spotlights down, except I'll spin them around so you only see this side. So you can see on, well actually you can't see on this one, but on this one over this side you can kind of see the, the high voltage um, symbol. So we'll do one on one side with that visible, and we'll do one on the other side without it visible, and then we'll see how it looks. Alright, and there we go. So obviously on this side, I've got it set up so that the labels are on the top. Um, yeah, don't know if I really like that. I don't like the labels. I do like this side. I think it looks definitely a lot better than that pipe did. Definitely a lot more interesting. Now, obviously, you can see that I've left a block here in the middle. Um, so, the question is now, like, what do I put in the middle? Um, so, I mean, for me, the, the answer is pretty simple. I'm just going to put in one of these things. Um, I did this in... Oh, I can't remember. I think it was in the medical room. I put a few of these things in, and they actually looked really good. Um, so, let's get this thing welded up, and then see how it looks in conjunction with all of these spotlights. Cool, and there we go. So yeah, I think that looks a lot better than what it did before. I suppose I could even put in an entire row of these industrial conveyor sorters. I mean, the PCU is about the same, but I don't think any of these blocks actually use any PCU, unless they're actually doing something. Um, it would be interesting to see what a whole line of these blocks next to each other would look like on this side of the wall. You know what? I'm going to do it because I would like to see what it looks like. Alright, and there we go. So that's all of those things welded up. Um, I really don't know if I like it or hate it. Uh, I wonder if I can turn the lights off on these things. Um, I know it probably doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah, so then they go red instead of green. So they do consume a little bit of power, but I'm not worried about that. Um, the question for me is, does it actually look good? Um, hmm. I don't know, I'm still undecided on that. And then also, what I could do is I could spin these around. So I could have this piece coming out from here. And then that piece will then meet up with this piece here. So maybe we could actually spin this thing around. Let's try this out. So let's move it around this side like that. 
And before I weld it up though, I'm going to turn it off. And there we go. So we could even do something like that. And I could do that too. So stagger them where this end joins up to this end rather than it being like that. Like, So I, I could do that as well. Um, yeah, I think I might play around with this for a little bit and then figure out exactly which one I like. But you know, as always, let me know down in the comments which ones you guys like. Alright, and we are done. So, what I ended up deciding to do was put these conveyor sorters um, every other block. So, I put one there, put one there, put one there, put one there. And then I put these spotlights in between those. Um, I think that's probably one of the most interesting looks I could kind of come up with. Um, I didn't really like the full wall of these conveyor sorters. I think that just looked a little bit too bland. Um, whereas this looks a little bit more detailed and I like this green um, kind of arrow effect that these things have going on. So the only difference between this side and that side is I've swapped the spotlights around. So you can kind of see that the spotlights are going in this direction. Um, so this uh, dark grey portion I guess is facing towards the wall, whereas on this side the dark grey portion is forced facing away from the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm really not sure which way to go. Um, I suppose they both kind of look similar. This one looks better here in the middle, um, but probably not so much better here, whereas this one looks a little bit better on the ends and maybe not as good in the middle. I don't know. Um, uh, as usual, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I think I'm done messing around with that. So. Let's move on to another job. Um, what I would like to do next is get this train, yeah, kind of sorted out. Um, I'm just thinking, do I actually need this thing for anything else? Nah, I mean, we've got this entire tunnel welded up, so I think it's pretty safe to tow this thing back into, um, or back up the other end of this subway, and then we can start getting the train sorted out. So here we go. The train is pretty much built. Um, obviously, I never got around to actually finishing the interior. So yeah, that's definitely something we need to figure out. Um, also, I think I would like to change the outside a little bit. Um, if you guys remember before, I was planning to put some sort of a platform sticking off the side of the tram itself. 
to then meet up with the platform here. Um, but since I've decided to go this route, then I can go ahead and I can put these lights on top um, rather than putting catwalks in their place. Um, so yeah, looking forward to doing that. Um, although I want to choose something other than just kind of Energy like low. railings to put above the lights. Um, so yeah, last time I put the railings here, but I would like to do something different. Um, but what I am going to do is put down a seat inside this thing. Maybe I'll put it on top. No, nah, we'll, we'll put it inside. I'll move it forward so that I can actually gain access to the sides. Um, so we'll probably push it forward about here. And then I can, yeah, start working on it. Alright, there we go. So that should give us a little bit more room to work. Alright, so uh, what to put on the side. So I definitely know that I want some um, lights here. Now I was thinking rather than placing a light on top of this door, maybe I could put an LCD. Um, so instead of having the light there, maybe I'll place one here, 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 and here. And then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side as well. Because unfortunately this is not creative mode and we do not have mirror mode enabled. Okay, fantastic. Now, what to put on top of those? Um, I'm just thinking. Uh, I can't go these because they're in the middle. Nothing else. I could maybe try a desk. Um, yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but maybe we could try a desk. Uh, where's my desk? Here we go. Alright, let's um, try one, but without a chair. And then just kind of like that. So we'll put those all the way along here and do the same on the other side. And of course I don't have the materials to get them. Cool, there we go. Alright, so on the corner here I'll put obviously the desk corners. Um, we'll place those in there like such. And I think that will actually look kind of half decent. Alright, let's get this welded up and see how it looks. Alright, and there we go. Everything is welded up. Um, that actually took longer than I expected. These actually have quite a bit of materials in them. Um, so let me turn my light off here. So yeah, I actually don't mind the look of that. Um, now, I would like to dress it up further because obviously it's just, it is very flat and boring. Um, so I was thinking maybe on the sides here we can add some armor panels. Um, but with like, uh, possibly this hazard armor skin. Um, obviously we're going to go for yellow though, so let's try and make a decent kind of color. Um, which skin do I have selected? Let's go for battered armor. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Yeah, of course. Okay. I think that should be a decent enough color. All right, so I should be able to place one of these here uh, if I have the materials to do so. Okay, let's try this again. So let's place... Uh, I can't because the wall's in the way. All right, let's place one there. Now, the thing I'm worried about is, do these lines actually meet up? So, I need one of these blocks. I don't know if there is... Yeah, I think this is the only one. So, with these ones, there's like a left and a right. But this one here, I think there's only one side. So, let's weld this up, see how it looks. Um, terrible. Alright, let's get rid of that and put in the square but the other way around so yeah <sighs> no matter which way I do it it's kind of not gonna work alright let's try maybe I would like it to be thicker on this side though if that makes sense so maybe instead I could go for one of these and one of these. Let's see how they line up. Uh, yeah, absolutely perfectly. Alright, so just need to do that another four times and that part's done. Alright, so that's those armor panels done. Um, and honestly, it's a little bit better. 
it is a little bit better, um, but I still think we can add a little bit more detail to it. So one idea I had was I was thinking about maybe adding in some sort of uh, um, some of these blocks, these speed modules and kind of like power efficiency modules and maybe even some yield modules um, because obviously they have some pretty interesting shapes um, on top. So I could place them there like that. Um, I honestly don't think that's going to look very good though. Yeah, it kind of looks weird there being just this really tall bit there. So, um, maybe instead I could place them like here or something. So, get rid of maybe just a couple of blocks here. So, we'll get rid of four because I think this thing is an odd number. And because the yield modules and stuff are like two blocks long. I'm going to need to get rid of, I'm going to leave, need to leave a spare block in the middle. So, let's grab these. Um, what actually looks the best? That kind of looks okay. That looks, yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. I do kind of like that. I do actually kind of really like that one. Um, so maybe we can go for that one there and do we go for another one there that's the question you know what let's give it a go let's put two of them in and see what it looks like so already there's kind of just like a little bit more detail here um, although I might change the color though and make it a far more dirty yellow um, actually, that's the wrong color. I want the battered armor skin. So I want that skin there. What's that going to look like? Uh, yeah, that's um, probably a little bit darker than what I want. I'd say that's probably a decent color. Let's try that. All right, and there we go. So that's the yield modules done. Um, maybe on the other side, we can try something a little bit different. And in the center here, instead of this block, I can use um, one of those store blocks um, or one of those contract blocks like I used in the other room, um, in the medical room. Uh, whereabouts are they on my hotbar? Right, here we go. Okay, so we can use one of these contracts blocks. Um, so I can use it like that, or I can use it in that direction. Um, maybe I'll go like that, because it kind of hides the bottom. And then if we look at it from inside, oh, you can still kind of see that. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to hide the conveyor port from the inside, but I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to do that. All right, let's... Um put one of those in we'll make that yellow as well I guess all right and there we go so I don't know it does look all right um, I wonder what would happen though if I just change everything to this color so let's just change it to is that the dark gray I swear that's not dark gray no it's not I thought this train was dark grey. Is this light grey? Oh, these are light grey. Okay, I need to fix that. Alright, there we go, that's fixed. Um, I think on the other side I might try something a little bit different. Um, and then we'll see how that looks. So, on this side, I'll grind out the same four blocks on either side. And maybe this time I'll try some power efficiency modules. Energy. So yeah. that will be the ones with the circular parts on top. So these ones here. So they actually have a pretty cool model. So yeah, and I think they're symmetrical on either side. Yeah, they are. So we can just go ahead and put four of those in there, get those welded up and see how they look. 
Alright, so I've parked the train into the train station just to see how everything is looking and I don't know. I, I think I am kind of leaning towards this side more than I am this side. It just kind of fits everything else a little bit better. Now I do need to change these lights to orange as well, so I am going to change that. Um, but yeah, so I'll change these... Um, yeah, these over to these, and yeah, then we can get started on the interior. And maybe while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and I'll recolor these lights. Alright, fantastic. So that is pretty much everything on the roof of the tram done. Um, yeah, I think that certainly looks a lot more interesting than it did before. Um, there isn't really too much I can do about the front. Maybe I can put something there. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I definitely need to sort out a connector here though. So probably just going to put one, honestly, just right here. I think that's where I had it before. Or was it there? I'm pretty sure it was just there. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just place it there for now. And um, I guess we'll find out later on if it is actually in the right spot. I guess we're going to have to place it like that then. Okay, fantastic. Right, so, uh, let's get started on the interior. Right, um, so, I think obviously the first thing I need to do is add in some seats. Uh, because obviously we're going to have a lot of passengers. So, for this, I'm going to use couches. Now, obviously couches aren't really the most ideal thing to use. Um, obviously... It's a couch, you know, it's not really a, a seat for a train. Um, that's weird, why is that? Oh, I'll have to fix that. Um, but obviously, you know, it's kind of like the only block I've got. Unless I go ahead and I use um, one of these passenger seats. But as you can see, they take up like an entire block's worth of space. And I only really get one seat for my, um, for my money. Whereas these ones, you know, I get three seats... Um, you know, and so I, I think it would just work out better. Uh, so the question is though, which way do I want to place them? Do I want to place them this way or do I want to place them this way? Um, well, first let's grab components for them and let's find out. Alright, so I think on this side we'll just place our seats this way. So I'll probably just place them back to back. Um, we'll place our seats in like that. Um, I'll do the same on this side. Cool. Okay, so that's our seats in that arrangement. So we obviously have, what, 12 seats there? Um, and then on this side we can go for the same thing. Well, not the same thing, but we can orientate the seats this way. So... Hmm. I think I might go for this way. Um, the only reason is, well, I guess there's two reasons. One, you can fit more people in. And number two, yeah, it just kind of fills the space a little bit better. I think if I had two rows of seats on either side, um, I'm going to be struggling to find something to kind of fill the middle. And these, you know, these seats, they still take up that full block's worth of space. So I still only have this middle block um, to kind of, you know, as a filler block, if that makes sense. To make it like, yeah, kind of not look so boring. Alright, so let's uh, do the other side the same then. Right, so we have our couches welded up. Um, did I weld up the lights before? I think I might have missed one, or maybe I just don't. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. We'll sort out the lights a bit later. And in fact, I think I am going to get rid of this one um, because I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not. Um, I would like to replace this with a helm, but I'm going to leave this there for now. Um, okay, so once I've figured out exactly what I want to put in the interior, then I can kind of figure out where I'm going to put my lights. Um, I think that's going to be the better way to go. So... Um, now I could place, um, some sort of a, like, a bar, um, here or something like that, so we've got these blocks. That's not really going to work, because it looks weird, and also the spacing there is not that great. 
Um, I could use these pillars here. So I could put a pillar there, but it, it's kind of in the way. And because, you know, I'd have to put one there and maybe one there as well to kind of make it look good. Um, and yeah, the only reason you kind of have bars and trains is to kind of hold on to. Uh, other option I've got is we can grab some railings. Um, so I'm going to go for the center railings, I reckon. Uh, let me, if I can find them. Here we go. Okay, so um, we can put our railings down like that, I suppose. Um, or alternatively, what we could do is we could put our railings up like that. So it does kind of mimic a train and it's got like bars. Um, but I think... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure which way I want to go. And in fact, the question is, do I move these couches uh, so that they kind of back up against this door? I don't know if I really want to do that. I think I'll just leave these the way they are like that. Um, but what I will do is I'll grab some railings, but I'll grab some double-sided ones, and I'll place some there at either side of the door. So at least people can kind of like hold on to this bar. Um, and it's far enough away from that seat. So, alright, that's one set of bars done. Uh, let's put in another. I reckon... I might go for some bars. Probably... Like... Uh, do I go there or there? I might go for... Possibly there. Um, and the reason for that is so when you're walking in... Um, people can still kind of get to that seat and not be too obstructed by this bar. Sadly, there isn't... I don't think there's a middle bar, like a half bar, or a half um, railing, I should say. So yeah, that is a bit of a shame, but not much we can do about that. Okay, so I think the helm is underneath the cockpit menu, isn't it? Yep, it is. So we shall place one of these here like that. And um, it does kind of look drab and boring, being like that so maybe we could dress it up a little bit um maybe we could put some blocks here uh, i don't think that's really gonna work yeah that doesn't really work that well um i could put some of those there that kind of looks all right but not that great uh let's try maybe a railing so we could maybe put one of these railings in I know it doesn't fully kind of, and this, oh, this, this, whatever this is, this Z fighting, I think they call it, is driving me crazy. Uh, so, uh, the only real option I've got to get rid of that is to, yeah, cover them up with another block. But the problem with that is, if I cover them up there, you can kind of see the block doesn't fully cover the wheel. So I've got to put a block here too, and a block there as well. Strangely enough though, it doesn't seem to be fighting with this, um, this warfare battery. Which I find to be strange. But yeah, so, um, don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, okay, so, that's, um, I think that's pretty much everything for the interior. Actually, you know what? I think I may even enclose each end of the train, um, like they do with standard passenger trains. So maybe I could put a block there and the door there, but then that would only give me a very short space. I would actually like to use maybe this space here. Um, can I actually get away with that? Yeah, I think I, I think that'll be alright. I was kind of thinking maybe I'll use something to cover these um, wheels. Um, but as long as I kind of hide it, then you won't kind of see it from inside the train. And then when you're driving, you're going to be facing forwards anyway. So the only time you're going to see it is if you're standing outside and looking inwards. Or if you kind of turn around and walk through the door. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we will get rid of these couches here. And yes, it does reduce the seating capacity a little bit, but aesthetics. Uh, 
So, to that end, let's find ourselves a door. Um, probably just go for the regular half offset door. Except, I shall place it right there. And, of course, I need some steel plates. Alright, well, I've got enough components for at least several doors. So, we'll place our door there. And then, I'm going to get rid of these blocks. And I'll probably replace those with some of these. Um, and then what that will let me do is go ahead and put in a half block to meet up with our door. So we'll place one of those either side like that and weld everything up and see how it looks again. Okay, fantastic. I think that actually looks really nice. Um, we have a nice cabin space. Yeah, I, I really like that. So yeah, as always, let me know what you guys think. And then in here, obviously, we're going to have our driver. Um, although, honestly, this is going to be purely an autopilot kind of train. But I, I guess it kind of makes sense to have a redundant um, kind of human control. Yeah, it kind of makes sense to me, but anyway. Alright, let's get the other side done. Um, and then we can place in our lights. Alright, cool. So that's the other side done. Um, I might as well get these railings done while I'm here. I'm really not sure about these this railing here. Maybe I'll just get rid of it. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. We'll just leave it. Um, I think that kind of looks decorated enough. I really do not like this roof, but there is zero I can do about it. Unless the train was two blocks um, tall on the interior. I am willing to sacrifice uh, the fact that it looks not so great on the outside or not so great on the inside to make it look better on the outside so yeah uh, that's just gonna have to be the way it is right uh, lights now where am I gonna put these lights I guess now that I have nothing in the center I can just go ahead and place them wherever I want um, actually before I place the lights um, there is one thing I want to change. These batteries. I really do not like where they are at the moment. They just do not look good. Um, so I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to place them here on the roof. Uh, probably not sure which orientation. Uh, let's check it out. So we'll grab our battery, which will be one of these things here. And I guess we could place them like that. So the battery status is showing on, on the top. Uh, we could place them like that. So, yeah. Um, so this side here is showing on the bottom. Not really sure which orientation I want to place them, but yeah. I definitely know that I want to move them to the roof. And yes, I do realize that these blocks here are not airtight, but I don't really care. Because honestly, I don't have an oxygen system in this tram. And this entire space is going to be airtight anyway. So, yeah, it's all good. Um, okay, uh, let's, um, yeah, let's move these batteries. Oh, this is not going to be fun because these have power cells which take forever to move and weld. Okay, so I've finished relocating all of the batteries to the roof. Um, yeah, I think that looks uh, so much better. So if we have a look in here... Now we have a nice clean floor and yeah, up above it looks like a bit of a mess, but like I said before, not too much we can do about that. Alright, so um, now I probably want to think about where I want to put um, sort of my lights. Um, so I might start by placing, I might just place one. I don't know what that combat phase is now active is about. If anyone can tell me in the comments, yeah, please do so. Actually, I think I'm going to go for a light in the middle. Uh, and then we're going to find the midpoint between that light and the other ones. Uh, actually, let's weld it up so I can actually see where it is on the roof. Alright, cool. Um, so, I'll probably place another one... I don't know. Let's say about here, I guess. Seems good enough. Or we could place it there. I think we'll just go for there. So basically in line with these couches here. And that should be just fine. And we shall do the same on the other side. Or do we place it there? 
Now we'll go for there because there is a light just behind this door. So, yeah, in fact, I don't even know if I need that center light, but we'll keep it there anyway and we'll get these things configured. So I'll probably go for a range of like 10 meters or something like that. And the offset, I think I'm going to set them to be about 1.25. So what that means is that they're going to be like kind of in the center of this train. I'm going to get rid of this light. I don't think we need it. And in fact, I'm even going to reduce the radius of the rest of them because 10 meters seems to be way too much. Let's try 7.5. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. It's not too much and it's not too little. And then we have a decent amount of light in here, although I could probably dial it down in here a bit. Maybe even make it orange in there. Nah, maybe not. Okay, so uh, last thing I need to do is change the color of these lights here to orange. I honestly think I'm going to leave the radius the way that they are because I do really like this um, kind of circle of light here. And then this dark patch and then another circle of light. It actually does look pretty cool. So let's change the color and see if it looks just as cool. Okay, so all I have done is purely change the color. I haven't changed any other setting whatsoever. And I'm actually really happy with how that has turned out. Um, normally I would dial down the intensity of these lights by quite a lot. Um, but in this case, I don't think it's necessary because the radius is so small. So yeah, it actually does look really cool. Now, one final thing I think I can do, well, actually I have another thing as well on top of the next thing that I was thinking. Um, and you probably gather what I'm doing here. So I think maybe we could put in some wires here maybe. Um, and I'm not sure if you would even see these from there, but maybe we can go ahead and put these in anyway just to try and dress up the roof just a little bit more because you know why not okay so I've added the cables and I've colored them like as dark a gray as I possibly can well actually they're neon tubes but you know I kind of think of them as wires because that's what I always use them for um, yeah so you can't really see them <laughs> oh well I, I think the train is detailed enough um, these lights actually do quite a lot so um, the only thing I'm not sure about is the front. I would really like to do something with the front. Now, maybe um, the windows that were added in the last update. I can't remember which ones they were. There were these ones here. Maybe we can use some of these bridge windows here to further dress up this section. Hmm. I honestly didn't think I could do that. So, yeah, that's actually going to look pretty cool, I think. Alright, so that's those windows done. Let's see what it looks like inside. And, uh, to be perfectly honest, I think I will get rid of this helm. Um, or, will I get rid of this helm? Let's try just a regular seat and see if when you're actually sitting in it you can see over those walls so let's grab just one of these control seats here and just put it in the front because I think it kind of makes sense it has more dials and gauges and things like that um, so to me it just kind of fits the build a little bit better but that is just my opinion alright let's get this welded up take a seat and see what we can see yeah honestly I think that's acceptable so let's turn off the parking brake and then I need to adjust the speed of this thing again I don't know how the speed limit got increased but yeah now it's increased but that's alright yeah I, you can definitely see enough from here so yeah I, I think I'm pretty happy with that and it makes it look a lot better from the outside. So again, you know, that's even even better. Uh, yeah, cool. Alright, so the final thing that I would like to do to this tram is I would like to introduce some interior walls. 
uh, inside, except I'm going to move this thing forward so that I can actually get on and off the, the thing properly. And I might actually connect it up to the base because I do need to charge the batteries now that I've gone ahead and gotten rid of the old ones. I actually need to add the new ones or actually need to charge up the new ones because they've I think they only have like 25% charge when you first build them or maybe it's like I don't know 15% 20% something like that okay well I kind of realized why I never moved that thing forward it is actually hitting uh, the world ship so yeah uh, I'm gonna move that out um, I don't want to get rid of the world ship yet because I do think I'm gonna use that for the silo and same goes for the mining ship so that's why I have left those there um, but yeah I'm really happy with how the trains turned out so far okay um, I seem to be running into and dying a lot or running into things and dying a lot lately which is a shame um, okay Let's grab some interior walls, although I don't want to completely fill my inventory because obviously I need to keep some around so that we actually have some when we grind. Uh, yeah, I probably should have thought of that better. Anyway, the plan is to put in some interior walls all the way to about this door, um, make a cross hatch pattern in the middle, and that's about it really. And I think that'll just dress it up a tiny touch more. Okay, and there we go. The final modification is complete and the train is complete. Oh, uh, with exception to the bars that were here before. Um, uh, I keep saying bars, but they're actually called railings. But mm, what do you do? All right, so those two there. Now the train is complete. What do you mean I need small tubes? Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, now it's like kind of semi-complete. Uh, yeah, well in terms of modifications, I don't think there is anything else major that I want to do to this thing. Obviously I've got to put the windows on the other side, but I'll probably do that in between, yeah, in between episodes. Um, and that kind of brings me to the end of this episode. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, yeah, next week I'm probably going to continue on and yeah, maybe we can get the silo done. Although I do need to get um, some sort of conveyor system working between each point. So there is that too. Um, so yeah. Anyway guys, really hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you then.